I'm Ian Thompsons, and today I'm going to be uh, taking apart a Cintiq 22HD, it's a BTK 2200. Uh, we're going to be doing a repair on the display board. Uh, this is not one of the main boards you'll see as soon as you open it up, but, um, but there's a common defect in the board that some of the capacitors, one or more of the capacitors will short, and you need to locate that capacitor and replace it with a similar capacitor, well, technically you don't really need to replace it, there's a bunch of capacitors on that line, but I replaced it with a similar similar capacitor so that it won't fail again. Um, and so first, uh, I've already taken apart the, the back plastic and the metal. There is a, there are several components to this. One is the large black plastic. There's a square here that you can take out taken that out already over here. So first you want to remove this plastic square, then, so you take this out, then you take this large black thing out, then, then you got this panel here that you're going to unscrew. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 black screws around the edges. There are eight silver screws along the bottom edge. There's two screws that are screwed into where the um, uh, where the DVI cord cable goes. You have to pull out this one screw here and three silver screws that keep this piece in part and you have to snap out a couple little pieces of plastic. These little plastic pieces are right over here and pop out. And you'll pull this out first. Strip off a couple pieces from the display and the um, from the DVI and from the USB cable uh, section as because they're taped down. And once you got all that unscrewed, comes out pretty easy. Um, I leave the cables in because you don't have to take them out. And that's that part for me. Unless you want to leave them there because you're going to be testing, but because this is actually like a fairly straightforward device, I just use my own. I just use my own DVI cable, and I plug the power directly into the device. Now, first, I'm going to tell you there are two possible issues that can happen with this. One is that it can be the inverter board, and the second is that it could be the display board. So the way I determine which of these it is, is when I go test it, uh, if you plug it in, you'll be able to see whether the backlight on it lights up or not. So what I do is, over here, take my plug. Um, so first I, I leave this in. This, is, this goes to the display table. I've already unplugged it to test it and see what's wrong with it. But you would leave this in, plug it in. If you see if you if you don't see a black light come on, then that's that's one point of diagnosis. And then if you unplug this, plug this in, oops, you should have the backlight pop up. So it'll be a little bright. You'll be able to tell that a backlight just came back. And then it'll turn off after a couple seconds. No big deal. But what that means is if you saw the backlight turn on, the backlight board is not the problem. What the problem is, is somewhere on here, there's a short capacitor. So you've got to find that and replace it. So that's where we're at now. Because I saw that the backlight did light up, I know that this isn't, this isn't the problem. I'm probably going to end up replacing the four capacitors on the backlight board anyway, because they look a little bit puffy to me. And uh, I don't want to fix it and then have it fail in like a year and a half because the capacitors are blown, because that's a common issue on fairly high voltage capacitor. It just doesn't look, they just look a little puffy to me. It's done with it. Um, but if you're not comfortable doing that, don't. So I'm going to start disassembling. Where the issue is, it's on the actual LCD monitor display board. So I'm going to take apart this board down here. Uh, well, I'm going to take this piece of metal off down here, and we're going to get a look under there and see what is well, and then we're going to do some diagnostics. So that'll be a separate video. I'm going to start taking it apart. It's only three screws, and then stripping some, stripping this little piece off. And it's, so it's pretty straightforward without breaking it. 